welcome back to my channel today i'll be showing you all how i make my beef pot pie to get started i already seasoned my beef and i'll be using some carrots and potatoes i also have some butter bean now usually uh mixed vegetables is used for this recipe that's traditionally used but you know i'm gonna do my own thing and i felt like i wanted to use butter bean because that's what i prefer i also have some pie crust store bought and i'll be using some bell peppers onions thyme scallions parsley garlic tomato sauce i have some mushroom seasoning all purpose seasoning complete and black pepper so to season the beef, I have a piece of chuck roast beef here that I chopped into bite sizes and I'll be using some green seasoning. I'll leave the link to this down in the description box. I also have some meat seasoning, complete uh, seasoned salt, garlic and onion powder and black pepper. I'll be using some brown stew seasoning as well for color. So what you want to do is just add all the ingredients to the beef, mix really well and just set aside to marinate. For a few hours now i did realize that a brown stew seasoning wasn't giving me the color that i desire so i went in with a little bit of browning but you don't have to use a brown stew seasoning because i i'm guessing it'll be hard to find in other parts of you know the world or in the usa or whatever so you can just go ahead and use some browning or whatever brown sauce you have on hand. It's basically just used for the coloring of the meat. To a preheated pot, I did add a bit of oil and now we'll add that beef in there. Give it a good stir, cover and allow it to release all of its moisture. Once that moisture is released, we'll remove the cover, leave it uncovered and allow that moisture to evaporate. Once all that liquid evaporates, now is the time when we'll go in with some hot water. We'll cover and allow this to simmer on low heat for about one hour. After about one hour, the beef should be nice and tender at this point and now we can proceed with the next step. We'll add our tomato sauce and then we'll add our aromatics and the herbs. We'll mix well and allow that to go for about 3 minutes. So now we'll add some hot water back in here so that we can create that sauce to boil our carrots and potatoes in. Then we'll add the carrots and potatoes as well as our seasonings to flavor this back up. I also like to go in with a bit of brown sugar just to add balance to the dish. And we'll be adding a flour slurry. The flour slurry will help to thicken everything and just bring the entire dish to life. Once we're done, we will cover this and allow it to simmer on medium heat until the carrots and potatoes are nice and tender. The last five minutes, you want to add your butter bean in there. Give it a good mix. Allow it to go for about five minutes or so. And that's it. Our pot pie filling is done. Now we will turn the heat off and allow this to cool down a little bit before we get started on the next step. today I'll be using these uh, ceramic mini pie dish to do the pot pies in I did find these at the dollar store so if you're interested it's selling at the dollar store so now we'll roll out our pastry and what I like to do is place my dish right there and cut the pastry a little bit bigger than the pie dish so that when I place it inside it will fit in there and it will have you know enough space 
so you want to place it in there like i'm doing and it doesn't have to be perfect guys you know because no one will see all of that so you put it in there make sure it fits nicely down to the bottom and stuff and you want to pinch off the pieces that's left over over top you just pinch it off like so and yeah that's it now the extra piece that's left over i like to use it for the top i go in with my rolling pin and i just roll it out to the size of you know the pie dish and we place it right over top and that's it guys super simple and easy next you want to just place your filling inside of the dish like so and you could put as much or as little as you like but i don't like to overfill mine because it will overflow in the oven and i don't want that you know so we will fill this up and then we'll place the top over like so it's super easy guys it's it's no big deal and if you're using just one large pie dish it's the same method you just place the bottom uh, part of the pastry inside and then you put the other one over top because this pastry it comes two in the box so in all i use three of them because i was using the small dish so i use one for each dish So the last and final step you want to get an egg wash and just brush it over top of your little pies and then i like to go in with a knife and just place some venting holes over there you can design the venting holes however you like but i'll show you guys how i do mine and this is how i would usually place my venting holes just like a little flower thing right over top you know you just want to make it look nice and presentable so that's what i like to do and you want to have your oven preheated to 375 well i like to do mine on 375 because i want a nice golden brown on my pastry but if you have a high oven you can do 350 and the extra dough that's left over this is what you can do with it you can make a patty with it and after about 30 minutes this is how the pot pies are looking they smell absolutely amazing and i can't wait to dig in what i like to do is go in with some fresh parsley for some color and brightness y'all know i love my parsley and voila here you have it my version of beef pot pie when i tell you this was divine it was absolutely flavorful the pastry was so flaky and it was everything you would want in a pot pie i hope you guys give the recipe a try if you enjoyed the video give it a thumbs up share it leave a comment down below and don't forget to hit the subscribe button i'll leave all the ingredients down in the description box and i'll see you guys next time